Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Pan Chasu and I am beat up. Seriously. My head hurts, my neck hurts, my arm hurts, my heart hurts as well, but it's mostly because of The Walking Dead, so it doesn't really count. Either way, I'm not feeling the best right now, however the show must go on and I need it and wanted to record some more Dungeon of the Endless, especially since you're probably quite curious how well am I going to do in my particular situation, which is not very peachy. Research-wise, I don't have the best of stuff, I mean, I do have decent enough generators for floor 8, but I, I'm gonna be honest, usually it's better by this point. I have no support modules, which is nothing new, I pretty much never get them. Sometimes, suppressive firebot is okay, and that's about it. Uh, I don't have too many turrets, and you do need those turrets, so I'm not too happy about that. At least I have a decent selection of additional special turrets, but they are only level 1, all of them. I need to level them up as soon as possible. But for that I need to find a research thingy. And I don't know where it is yet, so we'll see how it goes. Alright. First here we're gonna start operating, and how does she have more width than OPBOT? She's got the same amount. But OPBOT can stand in the back while she can stand in the front, so it's gonna be OPBOT operating this, thank you very much. You, get out of here. Now this is a very fast walking speed, good job gals. Is the game lagging or is this toxic cloud this bad? I think it's just the toxic cloud being this bad. I haven't seen a toxic cloud this bad though, not in a while. No dust. I was actually hoping to find dust, which is something I told you many times never to bank on, but I just banked on it. Oh great, it's keeping distance again. For five turns, this room will be useless and it's a really bad room to pick in with. Alright, so how am I going to play this? Well, here's my idea. I'm gonna use this room to defend for the time being. I will not let monsters spawn in here just yet, but maybe in the future I will. You get over here, I'll open the doors on this other side. And uh, here I'll make a bunch of turrets and, like I said, I'll defend in here. I should be okay. Later on I'll be able to move both heroes and even if one wave comes, then level 4 people to move a bunch of turrets should be okay. I'll see how the situation develops. Let's go down first. Down is always a better direction than up in my book, so let's see what is there. A dust factory and more dust. Pretty great in my opinion. Please, please do not blow up. You don't have to give me dust, just don't blow up, please. Thank you, wow, unexpectedly nice. Alright, so I can power everything. You get your A over here because I'm gonna need you. And let's start generating some food. I am an industrialic, you know that, but I do need some food because when I get the chance to hire a new hero, which hopefully will happen soonish enough, then now I need to hire that new hero. Alright, I'll continue exploring new doors in this direction because this room is very easy to defend with hair around. So I want to find some safe rooms to put my modules in. So I guess I'll open the door on the left because left is always best. Of course it does mean that I'll take forever to get there, but that's just the charm of my hero, I guess. Please be science, please be science. I think I would have seen it already. No, yes, maybe. It's a crying capsule. Please be a very good hero. There is a chance for that. I'm low one, but you know, it might happen. No, just 21 food, which is still good. I'll happily trade 20 industry for 21 food any day of the week. Especially when I have this much industry. Let's make more industry for the time being. I'm gonna need it because I'm gonna be using a lot of it. My mouse died for a second as well. Do I have enough dust to continue on in this direction? No, I only need one more, yes, but I cannot take the risk. So let's take another super long walk through the toxic cloud. I know it's not the most enjoyable thing to watch. I'm sorry, I wanna beat this play through the camera if at all possible, so... I'm gonna take all the time in the world if at all possible, thank you very much. Great room, another toxic cloud. Uh, yeah, this game hates me with the toxic clouds a little bit because now guess what, I have to walk through one again. But don't worry, toxic clouds do disappear after a few turns, so... <coughs> <coughs> it will not be like this for always. Also toxic clouds don't only lower your movement, but also lower your, uh, your attack speed. I think you know about this, but you know, maybe you don't, so just in case I thought I would stress this out. Another room. Great! Our research station, that's absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and start researching something. So, what do I have? Sab blasters, I used to love. I still like them a lot. However, they are mostly for middle game. Right now, on floor 8, they would still be useful if they were on higher level. Even on level 1, actually, they are useful. Because what you want is to have a very long corridor with nothing but sab blasters in it. I mean, like, a few rooms next to each other with sab blasters. And that... It's great, you can clear any way in this, uh, with the use of those, and it, they do cost some industry, I think it's 11 per sablaster, 
but other than that they're very effective and you will never have to worry about one set of your dungeon ever again until maybe you get to super late game and we're getting there so i'm not too keen on that it also costs 35 science which i'm slowly but surely starting to run low on because i lost hikensha land module is something i will need in late game i will need it it's a period i mean not a period but you know what i mean it's a given I'm gonna need it. But bioorganic transference is also really nice, especially on higher levels. However, I already have three specialty minor modules, and usually rooms don't have enough room in them to also put a bioorganic transference inside the same room that has all this stuff in it already. So I'm gonna go for land module. It's expensive, but I will use it, trust me. So let's depower that, power that. Hi. My mouse is acting really weird right now. I'm not sure why, but it is. Alright. The reason why I'm, I'm powering this room, obviously, is because I don't want any mobs to spawn in there. And is the Toxic Cloud gone? Yes, indeed it is. That's very nice. Soon, this study will be gone as well. Science or food next? I do have a ton of food. I need more, but I think I'm gonna go for science for some time. And just because I do need to be, make sure that I can research as many things as possible. So, powered room, very nice. No spawns either. Very nice again. Do I want to make a major module in here? I would rather not, but I can make a major module in here. So let us make the science thingy. I'm gonna use it, I think. It looks like a big floor, so... I mean, it's floor 8. It is going to be big, so in all likelihood I'm actually going to be able to make good use of that. Let's make pepper spray. I'm probably going to be able to use it in some way. Power this room so nothing spawns. And this is rather easy. There's one kamikaze guy. Two, actually. So I have to do is kill them both, which will happen soon enough. No, 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 don't blow... Oh, no. Nah, it will be fine. I can just repair this. It's, it's cool. I was ready to pause the game and do something drastic, but when I saw how little damage the first dealt to my major module, I was like, eh, it's okay. So, there's actually a lot of major modules in here. What I'm tempted to do is to create all the major modules I can in here and move her up. I don't need... Um, or rather, down. I don't need to move her down just yet, though. Yeah, I don't need to do it just, just yet. All right, so first things first. My mouse is really acting weirdly. I may need to do something about it. Pause the recording even. I'll see. Either way, double food module for amazing food production. And mouse, can you please stop being weird? Okay, I need to pause recording and do something about it. Piera back, sorry. Alright, now it's better. So, oh, I, just as I said this, my mouse died. Never mind, Piera back. Alright, technical difficulties like these make me think that maybe, just maybe, it's getting to the point where I need to buy a new PC, because it used to be high-end gaming PC, it no longer is, and it's been some time since it was like this, so... You know, maybe, especially since every piece of equipment I have seems to be breaking recently. Every piece of equipment, so... Yeah, there I might I'm it might be something I need to be looking at because recently I've been having problems with my speakers and my headset as a result. It's not my speakers, it's the audio input output thingy. And the game, my PC hasn't been performing quite as well as it used to, although it's still a I mean I wouldn't call it a beast anymore, but it's good enough. I mean you know it's just the subtle things that make you think that oh maybe this computer is actually starting to getting to get old a little bit. And then there's the solitary tear in my eye, and then I'm like, well, too bad, because I ain't got no money to buy a new one, so I'm gonna just make it do with this one, thank you very much. That said, I might have to buy at least a new mouse and new speakers. I love the new computer, but those two could be enough, but I think I might need them. Alright. Not the worst selection, not the best either. So the f here's the thing. Shop is kind of worthless. It costs industry and science, as in a lot of industry and science. It only works if you have the Scarlet Merchant. It does protect that merchant and gives you a bit of dust, but... No, 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 I don't consider it to be entirely worth it. So, press a fire belt. Some people like this, I don't. I mean, it's okay if you have this one room, and only one room where the mosses come into, and then you want to create... No, you still want to place the turrets like you always would. So you want a long corridor with turrets through which the monsters have to go through, and at the end of it you want your heroes to defend. And then maybe you would want some suppressive firebots in that room, but... I don't know. Maybe on higher levels it's okay. I mean, I know it is okay on higher levels, it's just not something I prioritize ever. Tesla Module 2, it is an improvement, but it's a pretty mediocre improvement, all things considered. It's extra 5 DPS. Not a big deal, honestly. Not a big deal at all. And Viral Injector. Now, the problem is that Viral Injector not only not very good, in my opinion, 
But also it's another level 1 thing. I've got a ton of level 1 thingies. I need to get for something higher. So let's start working on the module 2. I could have simply reset the mod, uh, the reset. Maybe I should have, but I'm gonna use Tesla's probably anyway. So I might as well make do with whatever I can. All right, this module is damaged. Should I move my lady friend forward? No. If it's attacked by big crystal dudes, it's gonna fall anyway. If it's attacked by small kamikaze dudes, it's gonna survive anyway. So it's still fine. <coughs> All right, I've got a ton of food. I'll be able to have whoever I find, so I can level up. Mitzi a little bit. On next level she gets next level of Danger Junkie, which is nice, makes her even more powerful. And yada yada yada. Exit, so no mobs are gonna spawn, that's good. And also this lets me know that there is no point in investing too much in turrets on this segment, because I'll probably try to keep it powered up later down the line. Alright, here's where things go dicey though, because I can only go here, here or here. This area will probably be fairly small, that's my guess, so here or here can be quite extensive. It's gonna be hard though to defend from this side and the other sides as well. Not impossible, but a bit difficult. Okay, firstly, let's play the smart and power this room, thank you very much. And create a pepper spray. It's actually a really big room, kinda easy to defend. It's so tempted to put a bunch of turrets in here. You know, we've never stunned module. And I could theoretically spam Prison Pros in here. When, if I put Neurostun in here as well. Let's put Neurostun and only put motors if I need them. Since I'm only gonna probably use Prison Prods anyway. Alright, so... Let's go up. And it's a nice room with some my, with a major module. In fact, Dust Factory, that's even better. No spawn still, I've been very lucky this floor. But I do need a hero, or a merchant. Or anything really. Alright, I'm gonna power you this, sir. And I'm gonna make a module right away because I'm probably gonna need it. I'm tempted to make a land module, but I don't quite just yet need it. And I do need some extra food and science and industry and everything. Uh, if I put in food and science, it will pay for itself. I'm still gonna do my fair share of exploring, I think. So let's get even more food. I level up Mitsu once again because I do have a ton of food. Danger Jackie level 2, she is now quite a beast. Not, it's not a huge deal, right? But it's still kind of decent. So let's keep leveling her up until level 15. At which point I will continue leveling up my other heroes. More dust. Let's buy this room then, so that nothing can spawn. Nice enough. And things did start spawning indeed. All right. So firstly, those kamikazes, they're gonna ignore the crystal, thankfully. Uh, how about is the wave? Let's keep on looking. The wave is... Ooh, okay. Big enough for me to create prison prods. So let's make just those. And oh, Kamikaze is exploring, exploding here. All those turrets I'm just made are gonna die, aren't they? Yes, they probably are. And I made those turrets way too late as well. But it's okay because... Okay, OP what is gonna deal with those Kamikaze. It's not a big problem. Those guys are heading to where this lady friend is. I could create a pepper spray in here. But I think that with if I stop the monsters in the other room, which I'm planning to do so... I should be perfectly fine, so let's just just kill him, you know. I didn't even need to do that, honestly. That was a bit excessive what I just did. Activating disability. Hellfire is way too good to do that, but it's okay. So how did things go? Oh, oh there is a bit of dust in here. Let's grab it. That would be nice enough. The red... Actually, do you have repair? Yes, you do. So let's repair. Thank you very much. Repair what I can. I'm gonna depart this room and obviously power the other one. I want to limit the possibility for the monsters to spawn, and I don't think I'll need a land module at this point. I don't think I really want to create another major module. I'm gonna hold a bit more industry, and I have a decent gain of everything at this point anyway. Oh, I almost forgot science. Whew, that was close-ish. Alright, I really think this area is secure. With those turrets placed, and with me being able to get down here when I need to, I don't need, feel the need to create more turrets or do any kind of other safety measures. Industry Generator 4. Now, that is not a big improvement, but it is a improvement, and I do like Industry Generators, as you know. And it's literally the only thing I could care about in this selection of tech. That said, I have plenty of doors to open, and it's gonna take me a while until I can... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Until I can actually, you know, grab this tech. It's gonna be six doors. So... Hmm... Do I want to reset this? Uh, this? I feel like I might want to reset it. Waiting six doors just to start researching something? Considering how little tech I have? No, let's reset. 
Alright, Prison Prod 4. That's not bad, but it's pretty worthless late game, unfortunately. Northstone Module 2. Very small improvement. Technical hard, no. Pres Mechanical power, no. Let's get Prison Prod 4, I guess. We've got barely any science, so let's actually do make a bit more science. Thank you very much. And continue exploring, I guess. Let's continue going up, because that is the only sensible way to go. No matter how you look at it, or how I look at it. And I'll open the door and see where it gets us. Give me a second, I'll take a sip of water. Hmm. Quite nice indeed. Let's buy the room so that nothing spawns. Kamikaze is not a problem, I can repair any damage they deal. I do need to take care of the crystal though, because it's gonna be annoying if I let it live. What's that? That is... oh. There, those are all my turrets gone. I guess Kamikazes like this room a bit more than I would have liked. This one, Kamikaze, also has no idea what it's doing. That's okay, I guess. I have to make sure that Kamikazes do not blow up in other rooms, though. Oh, they already did. Alright. In this case, it's fine. You are killing those guys. This guy dealt with his Kamikaze. Yeah, it's all fine. This guy has no idea what he's doing, and this guy is just going somewhere else. Alright. Fair enough. Let's kill the Kamikaze. Actually, I'm gonna wait here. Yeah, Fight of the Sages. Fight of the Sages? I think I played Fight of the Sages a bit too often. Anyway, can you please die? Thank you. Alright, repair things. Continue exploring. Sounds good enough for me. Alright, another place for major module. Do I want more science? Uh, it's costing me a lot of industry at this point. I do want more science though. So let's go ahead and grab it. Alright, now I have no industry whatsoever. So next time I land up on a new floor, so next video, I'm gonna start with a triple industry opening, I think. Alright, so what do we have here? A big room, not very good. A research room as well, alright. And plenty of waves, but only downstairs. Downstairs? You know, on the bottom area. And also, I forgot to power this bad boy, actually. Just because I'm also D, let's do that. Oh, and there are no threads in here anymore. Oops, forgot. Sorry. Let's make prison prods only. Because, yeah, reasons. And everybody went away. So only one person is going to be actually affected by all of this. Alright, so, I think I might need... Yeah, see this Kamikaze is blowing up. They are gonna try to blow up here, I think. Which is gonna be fine-ish, because my major module is gonna be able to take that. She, however, is not. Let's go for health warming. Is she gonna be fine enough? Ooh, this also affects Smitsy. I completely forgot about that. That is a problem. All right. Heal up. You heal up as well. Compl I completely forgot this damages everything, including friendlies. Okay, Mitzi is gonna be fine. She uh, better waste better to waste food than y not use it when you should have. So yeah, I'm gonna use it. Thank you very much. Gonna take a bit more damage. She's gonna be fine. Almost died. Wow, that was actually pretty risky. But everything is cool. All right. I need to remake some turrets because this is getting a little bit dicey, thank you very much. Actually, I already made turrets, but what I do need, it looks like, is a bit more pepper sprays. So let's make one over here, and actually I forgot to repair this station, so I'm gonna do just that. And another pepper spray right about here. Now I really have no industry, but it's still gonna be fine because I don't think I'll need to make too many more turrets throughout the rest of this floor. And like I said, I do have a decent stockpile of everything else for the time being, so it's cool. Alright, let's go over there. Do I want to start researching something already? Maybe it depends on the selection of tech I get. If it's a good selection, I will, and I'll depower this room, sacrifice a bit of my food gain, and power this room to protect the, the research station. So that's what I can get. Hopefully something nice. Let's have a quick look. Oh, I need emergency generators. Which is good. I'm gonna wait until I have enough science to get them. Alright, good. Let's open this door. And before I do anything else, I'm probably not gonna need a pepper spray over here because I'll have hellfire by the time that this door is finished opening. Good. So what's here? <gasps> She's only level 4 though. She's my favorite hero, however. So, yeah. That's the lady with the missiles. She's pretty good. She's really good. Alright. So here's the uh, here, here's how it works. Usually she's my door opener, even though she's not very good at it, but she can kill pretty much everything. She, however, can be an operator. She doesn't have a ton of wood, but she does have some. So I'm gonna make her walk as an operator and blow up everything that comes from one side of the dungeon. Which in this case, I'm guessing, is gonna be this side. 
So you go ahead and stay over in this room, operate some science, it doesn't have to have some extra science. And I'll level her up a few times until she gets the missile ability. I have no food whatsoever right now, but she can blow things up with sharp sharp analyzer. Or however it's supposed to pronounce it, which is nice. So there's that and research. I don't have 60 yet. You there's that, there's that, there's that. Alright, everything is cool. Let's go ahead and continue opening motors. I should probably make a pepper spray in here. Only fix spawn though. Actually there are two powerful heroes in here, so I don't think I need to. Bottom is a little bit more in danger. Okay, we have finished spawning. Let's activate this room. You deal as much damage to everything as possible. How is bottom doing? Well, kamikazes are wasting their lives on this floor, or rather room, which is nice enough. You go ahead and run. You are just a kamikaze, so it's fine. How are you, dear lady, doing? Uh, you're gonna get blown up slightly, but it's gonna be fine. The other guys are being pepper sprayed to death. Yeah, I don't even need you down there. Actually, I do. I need to repair those major minor modules because they have taken a bit of a beating and they may not cost much, but they still cost something. So I'd rather, you know, not have them been just be destroyed for no reason. Also, there's dust in here. So yeah, another reason to repair this room. All right. Can you please hurry up, though? I honestly think that when you are between doors, repairing things should be instantaneous because what's the point of waiting? You're just wasting our time at this point in the game. So let's depart power and uh, get some more science by which I mean emergency generator which mark my words is gonna be essential for me later on I don't have a lot of industry stuff piled though I keep looking at this and I keep being worried unfortunately all right I guess I need to take another sip of my water to calm myself down and also because it's delicious let's open this door it's only gonna take forever Again, I would love it if the game had an option to fast speed all the heroes while you're trying to open a door because sometimes it does take a bit forever. I guess it might be also the game's way of encouraging us to actually, you know, use fast heroes to be a door openers rather than heroes that are super slow. By the way, what's my next reset gonna be? Oh, yes, this. A billion times this. Okay, yeah, baby, I want it. I need science for that, but I'm working on it quite heavily with the addition of the second science generator and a hero as well. So there we have food. I really do need that, so thank you. Uh, a rhino who's going over here. Not a problem right now. And a bunch of spawns as well. Not a problem. Those guys will be killed very efficiently. You activate Hellfire just because I want to, you know, be done with this room as quickly as possible. And then again down there because I also kind of need to make sure that the bottom stays safe. Also to catch this Rhino in case he does go past everybody. Right now he is hypnotized, yes, but he might stop being hypnotized and go for the wrong door later on. No, you don't blow up. I guess he does blow up. Alright, good to know. In this case, let's play all the other turrets. Those ones did not even get damaged because kamikaze mobs are sometimes a bit of bastards. So, depower that, power that. What's that? Yes, you are a repairman, I'm afraid. Sorry. Think about Hikesha and what he, uh, she, rather, had to do when I put her on operative duty almost every time I had her. Alright then, let's go ahead and continue walking. By all means, take your time. We can just sit here and do nothing. The sad thing is, I don't have faster heroes aside from OP, but who's really not supposed to be at the opener. <coughs> Lol. Alright, I mentioned nice, so no mob spawning. Can I sell him something? Yes. I don't need that. I don't need that either. Alright, so that's a bit of extra science. Photon decelerator that gives you speed and dodging enemies. I mean, you know how if you are in a room. Let's try and say this again. In English this time. If you are in a room with monsters, what happens is that those monsters slow you down with their presence. Uh, no matter what kind of monsters they are, this thing negates that. It's pretty good for the openers, but I surviving kit is pretty much the best thing for the openers, in my opinion, because it gives you repair, which you need for a mobile character. Uh, and that's about all interesting things I can get in here, unless I want to give this girl, so this girl something better, which I could. I could give her Nano Bros. Five wood is quite a lot, but 66 science. I don't know. I should buy it though, because this guy is gonna get killed. I'm not gonna be able to protect him. <sighs> it's a bit of a toughie, though, isn't it? 13 defense is also an absolute ton. 
Just FYI, but I wouldn't be able to use it. I think giving this girl more wit to make her actually a good operator is an interesting idea. Also, even more HP regen is actually really tempting. I'm gonna get that and give her Nano Bros. The thing about Elise and HP regen is that it's already on 8, right? But, oh yeah, it also includes the cells already. Still, that sells pretty significant. It does cost a bit more to heal her up, yes. Most of the time, though, you don't need to, level, to heal her up ever. So, she's really good at taking damage. And you want to give her as much HP regen as possible. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Am I researching things right now? Yes, emergency generator is on its way. Let's open this door. I don't really care what is behind it, but let's open it anyway. An item and mob spawning only on the bottom it looks like indeed it does look this way so let's go ahead and activate this place thank you very much yeah my lady is gonna need a bit of a support isn't she all right so far so good however i'm holding on quite nicely everybody's holding on wait a second i thought there were no spawns in here what happened did somebody uh let me guess Let me guess what happened. Uh, I think I know what happened. Somebody spawned in here, but because I was zoomed out and had this here selected, I didn't notice that there was an expl explanation mark over there. Bit of a problem, because I just said how this girl costs small to heal up. It's fine, though. Let's blast those bastards up. That wasn't very impressive, Elise. I'm disappointed in you. We are very late into the game, though. She's supposed to have sharp level, level 2 by this point. Right, where are you, Mitzi? You're here already? All right, good. Uh, I'm going to take a risk. Stay in this room. Do as much damage as possible. You. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll just heal you up. I do have the food to do it. You are doing okay ish. Uh, fine, I'll heal you up again. There's another one? I thought this was the last one. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm almost taking more food on the head than I needed to. By this point, I should have been juggling here. But this guy has to be the last one, right? She is the last one. Yes, finally. She's gonna take a more damage over time, but she does have heals, so she's gonna be fine. Let's not risk it. Alright, she was fine, but always better not to risk it. Trust me, I've been through the situation way too many times when I, where I'm like, Oh yeah, my heal is gonna regenerate in time. She's not gonna die to damage over time. Of course not. And then they always do. So, you know, just be a little bit cautious. It's better to waste a bit of food than, you know, be in this trap. I did play this really poorly, though. I should have made a turret over here and start juggling uh, Alice around so that I wouldn't have to waste this much food on healing her up. I was too greedy. I wanted her to maintain her operator status on the science machine. Really not necessary. Also, I probably cannot research anything, so let's go up and grab this item. And as I'm getting up there, see what is inside this research station, just so I have an idea of what awaits me. So what do we have? Oh yeah, we checked already. Oops. Alright. Keep on going, keep on opening doors. I do want to level you up, but not too badly. Extra one wood is nice though. I do have the food for it, let's level you up once. I do have more dust as well. Let's slow the chance of spawns in here. I forgot to grab my item, which is a little bit annoying. Can you grab it now? Uh, yes, you can, but firstly, you're gonna have to deal with a rhino, dear lady. So let's charge you up like so. There are plenty of bodies coming through in here, but it's gonna be fine. Yeah, it is gonna be fine. She, however, is not gonna be fine. I need to start juggling, I think. Alright, in this case, let's make a bat of prison prods. It's gonna be hard to juggle because I have to make my way towards the door, and I forgot. I do need to stay here because of the rhino. Actually, is it the rhino in here? Is there a rhino here? Yes, it might be this rhino, because otherwise I would have seen a rhino already. Alright, let's start walking back. I will need to heal her up, unfortunately, but it's okay. The door isn't being damaged just yet, so it's fine. You continue walking over there. Make sure that the, the vile snakes are out of here. Okay, I will need to heal her again before I start juggling, unfortunately. But it's fine, let's juggle. Yes, I am in both rooms at once, trust me. You should stay here totally. Uh, that's just me to see. Okay, they damaged me a bit. It's fine. Uh, Crusos are going through a little bit. Mitsu will deal with them though. And that should be the last one. Good. Wasn't too bad. Let's see what the artifact is. Probably something that could have saved my life or something, but whatever. I'll leave those turrets here. They're doing a fine job in my book. 
And let's check out the artifact. Like I thought, Metron is dead, but that's from the wave that I didn't notice. So what do you have? Rice Wind! Great! This is actually gonna make her good in terms of damage. 20, 27 DPS, that's pretty beastly. Now she is almost capable of defending on her own. By this floor, usually I have her on level like 13 even, because she's pretty good once she gets to those levels. Especially once she gets Shrapnel level 3, which is absolutely godlike. But she doesn't have it yet, so yeah. Actually, do I have enough science for Pepper Spray 2? Let's have a quick check, because otherwise it would be awkward. Yes, I do. So let's walk all the way down there. Thank you very much. Do I want to depart this room? Oh, I need to repair this, actually. Oh, it's gonna take forever, isn't it? Yes, indeed it is. I'm gonna pause the recording in that case. Alright, I'm ready. I'm researching now. I have... Oh, I shouldn't have opened this door. Now it's an area where the rhinos can actually spawn and open this door and create a mess of my dungeon. Which I wouldn't want, honestly. I really wouldn't. This area can stay clear because it's well defended. You make sure that no rhinos spawn in here. Some rhinos spawn, but they're going down there, so that's not a problem. Where did the mob spawn? Two over there and a bunch over here. It's fine. I'm gonna walk all the way here and make sure I can juggle some of those vile snacks, if at all possible. Did I actually power spray the rhino? I'm not too sure, but I think I'm gonna need a shop now at this point. So it gives me the feeling that, you know, judging by the amount of mobs that are passing through, it's gonna be a pretty good shop now. Not good enough though, uh, and those guys are gonna blow up now. Right? Let's go for another one then. Alright, that's a little bit better now. Okay, in this case, you keep on going, make sure that the vile snakes are not gonna be able to kill you. Thank you very much. And get to juggling. Hey, I'm here. No, just kidding. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, I am not. Let's make quick sh sure. Quickly. Let's quickly make sure that everything is fine. A few suiciders walking around the place. It's fine. This area is almost destroyed, but it's okay. I failed juggling a little bit, but it's not really a big problem. Hey guys, seriously, I'm in the other room. No, the other other room. No, the other other room. Alright, I think it's good now. I can just go ahead and finish things. Alright, everything done. Oh no, there are still some more things. Oh, it's actually crystals. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, should I panic enough? It's fine. It is fine, right? Yes, it is fine-ish. But it's fine enough for me. This room layout is kind of weird. I've never seen rooms this clustered up together in this game, ever. Anyway, I'm starting to think that maybe just maybe I'm gonna need another pepper spray in this room. The reason why I didn't have any just yet is purely because I didn't want Suicidus to, you know, to be wanting to detonate in this room alone. Actually, I just realized I should repair things. So that's why I didn't make the pepper spray in here before. But now I'm starting to think I might actually need it because a lot of mobs were going past here. Also, Neurostun could be useful. In here, yeah, let's make a Neurostun and let's make a Terra Gas as well. And even another Prison Prod 4, or maybe Tesla. No, let's make Prison Prod 4 because I don't want to make this room too valuable. And pause recording again. Alright, recording again, which obviously I can tell by now. And unfortunately, that is the dead end. So the only other doors I can open are actually the ones that are not in the best of spots. One spawn, two spawns, three spawns on top. And looks like a solitary, uh, solitary spawn on the bottom. I don't care about the bottom, it can handle itself. And unfortunately, looks like Suicidus care about this room now. Yeah, all those turrets are gonna be destroyed. Unfortunately, there is nothing I can do about it. What I can do is juggle. And you know me, I like to juggle. Alright, I don't need, think I need to juggle anymore. How are things going? There is just a suicide over there. It's fine. This guy has no idea what he's doing, so... I'll tell him he's dying. Anything over the, uh, here that need repairing? Thankfully not. As the research going, one more door. Uh, you repair that. Everything else is repaired as well. Good. Of course, the research thingy is damaged by the kamikazes, but thankfully I'm also not using it, so I don't really truly really care. I could be using it. Actually, let's just check what I could get from that. Uh, Another thing to reset. I'm sorry, those are not bad techs per se, but they are all level 1s. I need a higher level text at this point. So, and since I'm gonna reset it anyway, let's just check what I'm gonna get next time. Ooh, those two things are yummy. I do have food replicator 3 already. Tesla Motor 3, it is an improvement, not a big one. I keep going one, mod one improvement at a time, but it is extra 6 DPS. 
I don't know. None of this is too appealing, honestly. Alright, so which door do I want to open next? I guess this one. I will be able to defend it quite nicely with Mitzi herself. She can take on any wave that can spawn before it does damage the crystal. Including the red crystals, if anything else, just hellfire, it's fine. I do hope that this room is not too extensive, but it could be. It's floor 8, it can be very extensive. Pepper spray 2 unlocked. That's all the chance of people spawning over there. One, two crystals, at least, maybe more. Alright, hellfire it. I think it was a good idea. And let's deal as much damage as possible. Crystal being attacked. Yes, I know. Billion fix spawn. The crystal being heavily attacked. I cannot move now, unfortunately, but it's fine. Those guys are dead. Now I can move. And you just, uh, or lady rather, you're probably gonna need to juggle a little bit, aren't you? Yeah, you will need to juggle, I think. Let's l make sure that you take more, less damage for the time being first. Actually, let's not even risk it. You run out of there. Great, now mobs are focusing on her, that's bad. That's not what I wanted. Alright. Firstly, heal up both of you. Alright, where are you? You're still not in the room where you need supposed to be. How are other things doing? Uh, rhinos are going through, not the suiciders, but there's also a rhino over there. Uh, this rhino is gonna get past me, isn't he? Uh, maybe not. She could stop him potentially. You, dear lady, how are you doing? Well, you're starting to juggle just now. So for the time being, I'm gonna juggle for a second. Yeah, yeah, just ignore everything else. Alright, that's good. I have things going on over here. Soyasada is there. Rhino has no idea where he's going, so he has been pepper sprayed successfully for a while. And things are looking okay-ish. Yeah. Could have been worse. Certainly could have been worse. Nothing blew on, was blown up over there. Things were blown up over there, but it's fine. Uh, I could move one hero up to this area. I'm not going to. You, dear lady, please help repair so that it's faster. Anything else? I'm not too sure about it. Do I want to move her to another location? Maybe I want to move her down to this generator so things have to go through another pepper spray before they even try to touch her. Or maybe I'll even move her down to the food location because I do have some science. I do need it, yes, but... Not a whole ton of it. I mean, I do kind of need it if I want to get the food replicator for, but do I? Kind of do, don't I? Yeah, let's put you over here, I think. It's gonna be fine-ish. You get back over there, open this door. Actually, before you do open this door, let's power this room up and make sure that no more are spawning here, because otherwise it could be a little bit dicey. Just a little bit, you know? I would rather avoid that if at all possible. Anything else? No, this area is doing fine. I haven't seen anything to suggest otherwise. So let's open the door and see what is behind it. Not at the end yet. Hopefully no more waves will spawn though. Pa dust. I do like dust because it means less spawns. Uh, one wave spawn? No, what? Billion waves spawn. Alright, that's good to know. Those things are... This wave I'm not too worried about. It's gonna go mental because of the pepper sprays. And this one, now I can successfully juggle, I think. Uh, although those kamikazes worry me. I'm not gonna lie, after a bit. That's cost so much. How about you? Oh, you got a sharpener already? All right, you're gonna use your sharpener on those guys once they come into your room. All right, most of the turrets are now destroyed because of the suicides, unfortunately. Can I take them on? I almost. Hold on, uh, where are the suicides? Did they, did they pass me? Oh, yes, they did pass me. Oops, they can actually cause a lot of damage now. I should catch them if at all possible. Mm, depends where they go. Where do they... Oh, for crying out loud. You're under mind control. Why are you attacking the crystal? We are supposed to focus on here. Oh, crying out. I don't know what is happening, but it's not supposed to be happening. All right, in this case, go over here. He's, well, now he's no longer mind control, but it's still kind of annoying. As in really annoying. Can you please make your way over there faster, please? And are those all going to blow up? They are, aren't they? All right, run. All right, there's that. Crystal lost a lot of power, unfortunately. That's actually not as bad as I feared for a second. Yeah, it could have been worse, but I did lose a lot of dust over there. I have no idea. It looked... I swear this guy was hypnotized. I have no idea what he was doing attacking the crystal. Later on, he wasn't when he continued to attack the crystal, yes. But before that, I swear he was hypnotized. I swear. All right, uh, those things can actually be repaired. 
So let's go ahead and do that. And since it's gonna take forever, I don't wanna bore you to death. I'm gonna pause again. Okay, recording again. Things are looking a bit dicey. I'm almost ready to leg it to the exit because, you know, it's a little bit hard to defend. I'm losing turrets. I'm not remaking turrets anymore, by the way. However, what I'm also doing... Let's wait for it. Nobody spawn. Oh, no, they did spawn. Press sleep on this. Three spawns on top, something spawn on bottom. Not a big deal with the bottom top, I probably can deal with as well. Thing is, though, this might be the last door and I do want to open and see what is behind it first. Kinda. At the same time, I'm losing so many turrets now, it's... I'm almost considering it to be not entirely worth it. Alright, let's try and see if I can make it to the door. Oh no, I cannot. That was a big mistake, I'm gonna waste some food now. It happens, but I would rather it didn't. So let's be careful. Can I make it? Is this guy blowing up? I'm not sure, but I'm not willing to risk it, thank you very much. So, yeah, I'm in this room. Seriously, I am. Quick check if everything is okay. Are those crystals? No. Suiciders. Anything else out of the ordinary? Uh, no, it's all fine. Okay, I'm in this room. No, the other one. No, this one, this one, this one. Let's just keep on juggling and it's gonna be absolutely fine. Nothing to worry about. Those guys are going to kill each other. It's gonna take a while because almost all of my turrets are dead, yes. But it will happen eventually, you just have to believe. I took some damage, oh no. Oops, 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 I failed to juggle for a second. Still fine, still fine. I don't have to worry about anything. Things are blowing up, but I have a faith that it's... The enemy is blowing up rather than me. Right? Hopefully. Alright, seriously, guys. Can you just die? Alright, my turret started firing for a change, which is nice. Come on, just die already. I would finish you off myself, but your damage over time is really kind of scary. So I'm not gonna even try. Can you please be in this room rather than the other one? Thank you. It's gonna be a little bit faster if that happens, I believe. Only a little bit, but still faster. Come on, die already. You can do it, you can do it. Thank you, finally. Jeez. Alright. Do I want to continue opening doors? Well, and nothing. If I open this door, then maybe no waves will spawn, and then I'll get a little bit of extra benefits. At the same time, it's a little bit of a stupid risk. Just a little bit, but still a stupid risk nevertheless, which I could, you know, avoid taking. Still, I think it's fine. I still have those turrets over here. None of them died, really. And they held up last time. I did have to waste some food, but I think I used like. Uh, I don't know, let's say 18 food. I think so, more or less 18. Well, I don't. I have no idea how much I used. I'm just making a number up. But if I did, then it's. St I'm still making more food per 10, so it was worth it. And unfortunately... Oh no, I forgot! Research, research, research! Ah, oh, no, I am. I am still researching, that's good. Uh, did anything spawn? Nothing? Nothing? Nothing! Nice! What is the item? Please, be something either amazing or expensive, so I can sell it to a merchant on the next floor. Hand vacuum! This gives you more dust loot probability, I think. More dust loot. Yeah, pickpocket. That's more dust loot probability. Really good on later floors, but Mitzi needs surviving kits. So I'm gonna give it to... Who? Nobody right now. Later floors, I might consider giving to somebody else until I have three operators already in place. Alright. <sighs> do I want to power this room? I kinda do. It's getting risky though, because if mobs spawn in here or here, it's gonna be a nightmare to defend. And I do mean a nightmare when I say a nightmare, but let's try it. I think it's gonna be fine. Keep in mind, if this is the last door, or rather the second to last door, I can afford to have my crystal take damage. I can. You know what? You wanna know why? Because it doesn't matter how much dust you have when you leg it. It matters how good the hero carrying the crystal is. And by that point, how much dust you have doesn't matter. Radio, not very useful, it increases your damage, but lowers your HP, if I remember correctly. Yeah, extra attack power. Really good for people with low attack cooldown. I only have people with high attack cooldown, unfortunately, so I could care less. Alright, one more door to open, and that's the store, which will not spawn any mobs. That's really good, but before I open anything, I can actually go for double science. Because there's this science module and the other one. Land module level 2, that's a very small increase, because that's extra 20%, but it's pepper spray 2. Any day of the week. Smoking guns are also really good, but as I said before, it's the same issue. I've got things that on level 1, plenty of things on level 1, I need things on higher levels. Smoking guns were still tempting, but you know, if I have to choose between Smoking Gun 1 and Pepper Spray 3, it is a no-brainer for me. 
So let's see, can I get something else? Yes, this is a Model 4, which I am gonna get. Now that's all my science, but because I'm gonna open the last door of this dungeon now, I'm gonna get both of these decks done. And I will not even need a lot of science ever again, I have most of the things I really need. I have Emergency Generator, which is a must for me. I have the Land Module, which is also a must. Go, you can open it from this side, it's okay. <clears throat> so I have those, I have Food and Industry Lopicators Flea, Flea, Free, which is good enough. Science Creator 2, which I don't even need anymore. Turrets on level 4, both of them. Pretty good, they are not the best turrets, but they are good enough. This should be better, but Pepper Spray 3 is already very good, so... Things are looking kinda okay. My heroes should have higher levels, though, they really should. Uh, who am I gonna level up? What did you get? I don't remember. Is it Master Hacker? Nah, it's something else. Is it uh, Team Spirit? No, you don't have Team Spirit, do you? Well, it's either hair or hair, and like... I, I'm a, I have OCD, I like heroes to be... You know, to s spend all my food on one hero and have this hero as high as possible. And you know how fire 2, which will get on level 13, is kind of godlike, so... It also ignores damage over time. I forgot about that. 155, 108, but... I need to give her sharpener level 2, I think. This sharpener analyzer is not cutting it, and it costs a lot to restore. Let's level her up. Oh no, it's Iron Fist, not Team Spirit. Walks in a similar way, that's why I mistook them, those two. Alright, I think it's level 10 or 11 when she gets sharp analyzer level 2, I could be mistaken. Anyway, let's leg it to the exit. It should be a really, really easy escape. I'm not too worried about anything. Depart those two rooms, power those two, power this one as well, and this one too. Get everybody to the exit except for people who is going to gonna carry this crystal. Let's wait for the slow pokes, because they are slow. You about done yet? Yes? Alright, let's carry the crystal. And get out of here! It does sound like a great idea, Pivot. What would you rather do? Stay in this dungeon for all eternity? I think not. Alright, some mobs are heading in. It almost looks scary, except I know that I'm not in any danger whatsoever. So all I need to do is just continue on walking and see what dialogue I'm gonna get in the elevator. Do any of those heroes interact with each other? I don't know. I. Think I've seen some of them together and they didn't, but maybe some of them do and I haven't seen this interaction yet, which would be cool. Ooh, that's a different color. Um, they're not gonna kill each other, are they? No, okay, they're not gonna shoot each other, they're just gonna have secrets and unlock something at the end. It's good. Alright, good. For a second I was a little bit worried, that's why I went quiet. A lot of industries are quiet, not a ton, but it's a good enough number, I'm satisfied with it. Food, barely enough. Science, thankfully I didn't need to worry about too much either. I desperately need more food, but we are in the ass case, ladies and gentlemen. Most of my runs, multiplayer runs at the very least, end here. Single player runs can get further because usually I care and try hard more in single player. But multiplayer runs, if I get to this point, it's already a success. So, we're like fine. It was Panjasso, also known as the Mighty Mix Player. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you online.